got some money on the line, you better put it here. Rolling in and doing that work. Check priorities, I'm doing that first. Them checks big and I'm sure that that hurts. But it's checkmate, we ain't selling short, no the work. Ain't nowhere to hide. You ain't gotta see me come and keep me on your mind. Cause I be on the work. Yeah. You know I be on the work. For them bags that they said I couldn't have, get the team. I got a vision for the things you ain't believe. And here's the motto hard work that's over everything. Huh. It's that comeback. I'm calling plays, hit the past, then the run back. Yeah, I'm far ahead and got a run last. But we ain't letting up, we never done that. Ain't nowhere to hide. You ain't gotta see me come and keep me on your mind. Cause I be on the way. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome to a gloomy, gross, rainy, wet day here in Pennsylvania. Washing in the rain, yes, some might call me crazy, others might call me dedicated, others might refer to me as a true enthusiast. I couldn't let eight balls sit in the salt. We had Cakes Custom Detailing out here the other day to do Misfit. Got that thing looking great. We deleted all the salt just in time to get it dirty again in the rain the next morning. What else is new? And we're about to embark on some really exciting content here on eight ball to begin its transformation to get ready to kick some ass for spring. 2021. Not only is it going to kick ass, it's going to look good doing it, and that's what starts today. This video right here, this moment for 8-Ball right now is so long overdue. All righty. I got to squeeze out tight fit. Ugh. All right, boys and girls, we got 8-Ball in the shop, all cleaned up now, feeling way better about starting this project with a clean slate, no pun intended. We're gonna be digging into this project here very soon to, yes, do exactly as I had mentioned in the intro, give this truck an overhaul for the beginning of the new season. There's a lot of things that I've wanted to do to it that aren't quite specific to the power mods that we just legitimately have never had the time or the space to do. Said that a few times in the past, but now we've got all this space to continue on with multiple projects, i.e. that one and that one and this one right here behind us all at the same time. It's super exciting. It's very nice to be able to use this space and have the freedom to jump in from one project to the next. Now, before we get any further, 8Ball's younger brother, AKA Ghost, is up for grabs, but not for long. The deadline to get entered for Ghost for that big turbo Cummins in $30,000 cash is February 8th, which is only in a few days, and the max multiplier is back, which is 10 times entries, until the deadline at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Boys and girls, Procrastination Nation, your clock is ticking. 8Ball's gonna be between the two posts for a little while. We have some disassembly to do. We're going to do a little bit of reassembly in today's video, but we're not going to be able to do the extent of everything because there's some parts that are going off their powder coat and there's some parts right on that table right there behind me from our good friends at Flight Fat. Doesn't it feel so good to have some flight fab parts back on the channel? It's been a little bit of time, I believe, if my memory serves me correctly. Dream Diesel giveaway number 12 that went off to Jake Decker in North Carolina had some flight fab radius arm drop brackets, beautiful kit on that black fifth gen Ram. And now we're gonna be adding some flight fab componentry that's already illusion cherry to match to our good friend 8Ball. I had one sole objective when I had picked this truck up or rescued it, some might say, from auction, and that was to take it, make it look nothing fancy, and make it go very, very fast and we achieve that with the help of whirly fab firepunk exergy and next level motor works and then it was kind of like all progress just stopped we just used the truck a lot and it's kind of spoken for itself actions speak louder than words in a sense but now we have this new beautiful building and eight ball deserves to be brought up to standard if you will and that's exactly where we're going so what we got right here ladies and gentlemen is a four link setup for the third gen by miles at flight fabrication we've got illusion cherry to match with our black badging and that's our whole 
whole color theme around the whole truck. So you can see our friends at Whirly Fab actually just surprised us with an upper radiator hose that'll go in place of the factory one right here for eight ball. And again, it's back to that whole theme of illusion cherry with black, with the exception of the holy grail on the top of that D&J powder coated valve cover, just so it stands out a little bit more. We've got all the black clamps and then we've got the Whirly Fab traction bars on the side with the black badging as well. So Miles delivered by getting all this stuff powder coated before he sent it out to us. Now also when we go back to reassemble the truck, once we get the other things back from powder coat, which we're gonna go into here in a minute, we're gonna be installing this whole shot kit. So what this is, is an upper and a lower bracket. These essentially mount to the axle and then this mounts to the top hat above the spring. And then we'll actually put these very heavy industrial straps above them. That way it limits the travel of the axle versus it shooting down even further in the event of a boosted launch. So those will be going on as well. And then lastly, Miles got us a set of his really badass billet tow hooks. So those are gonna go in place of the factory ones, which I'm really excited about. Now, speaking of our boys over at Whirly Fab, they'd actually sent us two parts for the brothers, if you will. One is going to be for 8-Ball, one is gonna be for Ghost. These are for the brake fluid reservoir. That is a freaking mouthful, guys. I literally just took like 15 takes, but I cursed way too many times. And I, it's not appropriate for YouTube. A brake fluid wet, a Blake, a Blake. <laughs> These are for the blip. This is the cover for the, br <laughs> can't even talk. We're gonna be putting those on as well, but this assembly has to begin before reassembly and that starts now. Now boys getting up inside this thing and we are presented with something that we knew we were gonna have to encounter and that is rust. Eight ball is by no means a trophy. It doesn't sit still and we don't just stare at it. This thing has been used over the years. We think that it came from a farm. I say that because it had hay in the back when I got it. There was a bunch of manure and dirt and everything like that inside the cab. Truthfully, this thing was kind of somewhat left for dead to auction. We found it and we turned it around and we're working on doing that now, but we're encountering a lot of rust. Our good friend PB over here has been helping us out some hasn't gotten us completely out of the woodwork unfortunately we're dealing with some pretty rusted hardware upper shock bolt here is giving us a hard time and then the back leaf spring perch bolt right up in uh, this area here is the same unfortunately the little stopper that was on the arm just bent and now it's just spinning freely inside there so we're gonna have to figure out what to do there the plan here is to get the leaf springs out because we're gonna disassemble them get them off the powder coat and get rocking and rolling I also think we might end up doing some sort of a drop shackle in the back of eight ball that way we can bring the back down and then we're gonna be doing something up front where I'd also like to lower it some. It's stock height right now in the front. We did do the reverse level with removal of one of the rear blocks, but that didn't get us actually sitting quite level. This truck is still sitting on a rake. So that's on the agenda. I am trying to figure out what the best route to lower one of these trucks is. I'm really not sure. Maybe by the time this upload posts, I'll have an idea. But if you guys have any suggestions, definitely drop some comments below. I'd like to get it maybe an inch lower than it is factory height. That way with the set of forces on it, it can really kind of fill out the wheel arch. Now I haven't quite decided yet what we're going to do on wheels. I have a small little idea. It really depends on if you choose the 22 by 12s, the 24 by 14s for this. I am going to stick to a 12 wide on eight ball. So that's kind of pending what it is that we're going to be doing for this. So if you guys could pick a set of wheels for this truck specifically, what would they be? Comment below. Boys and girls, we gotta get started on the front of this thing. Okay, boys and girls, we gotta get started on the front of this thing. You tell them, babe. They wanna see more of me, so here's my fingernail pop. Do you see how close that turbo is to that top hat? Oh my 
done by professional. I am very not professional. Everybody wants a third gen. Until it's time to do third gen ship. Yep, 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 yep. This thing was pretty rusty to say the least. We would have had in an equivalent space when we were tearing down that truck, which is a brand new 2022 limited Longhorn Cummins. It took us literally about one eighth the time to tear that entire truck down versus this truck right here. And that my friends is what you call interacting with rust. How many bolts do we have to cut out? Five. Five bolts. Wait. Seven if you include the two shocks. Oh yeah, 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 seven. Yeah, I mean those shocks are garbage. Would you like to demonstrate? Boys and girls, this is a demonstration of what your shock should not do. That's not taking very much force. <laughs> it, it's like done. It, <laughs> it, it was like, Help me. <laughs> oh, guys, all right, so little update here on the vlog. We got the front axle down, drive shaft's still on. That's kind of holding everything up in that space right now. We still do have the track bar on and the uh, drag link disconnected. Back axle is now dropped. We've got the uh, Whirly Fab diff cover completely uh, masked off. We are gonna be coming in here with a rust encapsulator and hitting the axles. Not going super crazy and getting them powder coated or anything. Honestly, it's just, just too much work. We gotta take apart, we would have to take apart the entire axle and honestly, it's, it's just not worth it. I wanted to try and get this thing cleaned up a little bit. This is gonna be like phase one of a multi-phase process. And uh, really guys, it's already dark outside. I completely lost track of time. May or may not have just missed dinner. I don't even know what time it is. It feels like after busting the crap out of my knuckles, literally on both of my hands. But hey, this is something that just had to get done. And eight ball is very much going to appreciate it. And it's gonna look awesome when it's all said and done. I do think I'm gonna go to like a rockauto.com and try and get 1500 front springs unless you guys advise. Otherwise, I'll probably wait until this video goes up before actually ordering some parts for the front. And then in the rear, we already did the delete of the blocks at the bottom of the leaf spring. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that bottom leaf out and then be left with three. You can't really do drop shackles on these because the seats are actually mounted opposite of most trucks. Usually they come down, these are up. Uh, so you're not gonna be able to do drop shackles, but if we take that one leaf out, it should allow that whole pack to flex a little bit more. We don't really need all that much stability from the back leafs because we have the track bars on this truck and that should be able to bring us down a little bit. I also happen to make up my mind on what I'm gonna be doing for wheels and tires on this truck. I think they're gonna look absolutely sick. We're gonna go a different direction this next time around. Whether or not you take Ghost with or without the 22 by 12s, the decision's still ultimately yours, but I do have a route in mind that we wanna go for the refresh of eight ball. What do you guys think that I've got in mind? Gonna have to drop some suggestions below. Am I giving myself away too much with the color scheme on that truck? I don't know, only time will tell. Let's just say eight ball looked a certain way for a while. Being that we celebrated all the glory of eight ball in its brother form right there. I figured maybe 2022, it takes on a new look. If this video deserves a big old thumbs up because of all the Dodge stuff that we've been doing here on the channel for my Dodge enthusiasts, definitely smash that thumbs up button. Boys and girls, I hate to end it with y'all now, but I gotta get inside. I gotta get all this Dodge stuff right here off of myself. And we gotta clean up the act to jump right back into things tomorrow. So boys and girls, one of your last warnings right here on the vlog to grab your entries for Ghost and $30,000 cash, 10 times entries, and the deadline's February 8th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.